Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Today we're going to get right to the heart of it. Trump Organization, will it survive? I mean, we all know it won't, but let's see what the cards say. Will Trump Organization survive? So this is the Heaven and Earth Tarot by Jack Sifroth and Jamie L. Ford. And uh, these are Los Carabillo cards, and i got to tell you, these are great. Um, they come in a cool box with that magnetic clip on the side, which I like. The guidebook that there that comes with them is very useful it's just a full-size book that you could uh, sit and have a cup of tea and and read through it the cards themselves and it's a color book which i appreciate it may not look like these are in color but this is how the cards are kind of muted with little pops of color here and there and there's lots of nice suggestions on how you might use these cards uh, in uh, the divinations then the cards themselves are, are very nice the um i would not put them in the box well The little discombobulated uh, here today. Um, I want to spread them out so that you can get a look at them and see kind of what cards look like. And although they're kind of uh, in that noir style where they're black and whitish with just some hints of a, a very you know, shaded uh, color here and there, um, you can see that they're gorgeous cards to use. And um, so, very nice. Uh, I do this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, then you can uh, have a look at almost this whole deck, you know, because you can stop the tape and really zoom in on some of this stuff if you wanted to. And uh, it's a nice way to mix the cards. If you're doing a reading for someone, you could have them uh, spread them out this way to kind of uh, get the cards mixed up. And um, that way uh, everybody's kind of participating in the process. So that's the Heaven and Earth Tarot, some cards that I love, love, love using. So I thought that'd be a very interesting uh, subject today. Trump Organization, will it survive? Now what's going on here? My card is upside down. Now I have to go through and check all of these because I will not tolerate upside down cards in my deck and you all know that. So what are you doing? So Trump Organization. And I think I might try to squeeze in there some of the um, executives of the Trump Organization to see uh, how, that, uh, how that works out, just to give us a little more interesting reading. So Trump Organization and the executives, Trump Organization's Organization and the executives, will it survive? And uh, maybe we'll just do a one, two, three, four uh, eventually in this reading after the full Celtic cross to see uh, which of the executives, uh, maybe a yes, no on kind of Oracle sort of a situation. Just name them off. Who would they be? They'd be, well, there's Donald Trump. So that's one. And then there's, um, of course, we know Alan Weiselberg, but we'll ask. Then we'll say, uh, we've got, uh, who's the, uh, Matthew Calabari, the appetizer. Then we've got um, McConney, the, um, what the heck was his title? Uh, I've forgotten already, but McConney. So we've got Trump, Weiselberg, McConney, Calamari, and then the piece de resistance, Don Jr., Ivanka and Eric. So we'll just ask right down the line of uh, how are all of them, how will they do? So this should be very interesting. Let's see what the cards say. And I mean, this could be completely wrong. It could be completely right. It could be halfway there. But look, what are you doing for the next 15 minutes? Nothing. So let's just see how it goes. Trump Organization. Will it survive? So we'll take six cards right off the top. One. <clears throat> two, three, four, five, and six. Trump organization. I mean, I think a lot of us thought this day would never come. But now with this indictment of Weiselberg and the Trump org in general, I mean, it's an entity. It's a living, uh, uh, considered like a, a person, you know, a, a, a separate uh, being of its own. So the, the signifier card for Trump Organization, Will You Survive, is what? Ah, the Ace of Cups. 
Very interesting to get this because the Ace of Cups is a, is a big offer of compassion. So that's interesting. I just, um, I was going to say I hate for that to be the signifier card, but you know, what can I do? That's the uh, signifier card. An offer of compassion. Will Trump Organization see an offer of compassion? The challenge to that then is the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles, you know, this is the warrior of the uh, royal suite. This is the fellow who's going to take that pentacle and fight for it and and make sure that uh, it gets its due. So in light of the Trump Organization, because this is what this, this part of this reading is representing, uh, it's represented as an offer of hope. So there's hope, okay? There's emotional uh, perhaps there. And it's challenged by the Trump Organization fighting like a knight for its worth. Interesting, interesting. The uh, um, base of this reading then for Trump Organization is the King of Cups. Oh yeah, they're going to be looking for all the considerations that they can find. This King of Cups is sometimes known as the Benign King. So this is the guy, you know, it's just like the bully. When he gets caught, he says, oh, but, 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 but this is, but, 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 give me some consideration. So this is what this King of Cups is in the base reading of this for the Trump Organization. He is the, the king who's saying, hey, but, you know, what about me? The past of this reading for the Trump Organization, what was in your past? Ah, the Wheel of Fortune. Of course it was. You had a good ride, Trump Organization. Things were lucky for you. And this is always uh, a spin of the wheel, uh, con uh, considering near uh, the end of a cycle, too. So the Trump Organization had a good run with that Wheel of Fortune. But then in the sky for this reading of the Trump Organization, Will You Survive, is oppression. Look at that. And this is the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is just a ton of issues having to be dealt with. They're strapped to this Trump Organization's back, and he's dragging them along, um, trying to catch anything that seems like it's going to fall out. So, yeah, that's the best. When you Up in the sky here, that's the best you can hope for. And so oppression is what we've got for Trump Org right now. And then the uh, final outcome in this part of this Celtic Cross is going to be for the Trump Org. Oof. <laughs> shortened force, this says. Shortened force. So with this Eight of Swords, this is telling us Trump Organization is feeling a bit trapped. A bit trapped right now. So Trump Organization, will you survive? You, you start off this asking for some compassion. Listen, they did it. These people who are running me did it. I didn't do it. And then this challenge by, you're going to fight Trump Organization with everything, every value that you've got to, to make this uh, better for yourself. The base of this is you're kind of the um, the king of cups, you know, looking for that compassion, uh, and and you're going to present yourself as as being um, not uh, a not guilty situation. Well, they've already pleaded not guilty, and then the uh, past of this reading is the wheel of fortune. So it's been a good run, and let's see how this turns out now. Uh, up in the sky, you're going to drag these issues, these ten of wands, on your back along the way, and the likely outcome. For this part anyway is that you are trapped but trump organization let's see the real true self of you this is kind of what you're presenting to the world and what you're trying to accomplish what is the true self of you trump organization the signifier for that is the uh, six of <laughs> coins you know uh, making deals spreading the wealth um that's what this is so you've been doling out the value here and there along the way. And that's what you are, Trump Organization. You are a vehicle to uh, to distribute that uh, value that you've been collecting. Well, I guess any organization is, if, you, if, if you're if you fair about it. But what is that in the environment of? That's in the environment of, wow, loss in pleasure. This is described here, loss in pleasure. Now, this is the um, Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is exactly that. This this Five of Cups is looking at everything that's been lost. And look, there's a little bit left here. You know, the Trump Organization is, I don't know if conglomerate is the right word, but it's a group of a bunch of smaller LLCs that all uh, are run under the umbrella of Trump Org. So this is this this Five of Cups is looking at what's lost and uh, maybe uh, what's going to be, what might survive. That's interesting. So in the environment of the spreading the wealth, What's lost and what will survive? The hopes and the fears for Trump Org. Trump Org, what are your hopes and your fears? And your hopes and your fears, the Seven of Pentacles, which is success unfulfilled. Success unfulfilled. So you're looking at everything that's going on and saying, have I done enough? Is this what's going to work? You've separated one off. So success unfulfilled. And then the final outcome for Trump Organization, will you survive? Trump Organization, will you survive? Is wealth 
Look at that, familial wealth. So it could be that some part of that uh, structure uh, does remain. Uh, and um, and what would that be for, for those, uh, those who are left to kind of suck off uh, whenever uh, wealth is left there? And we don't know what, what wealth is hidden all over the world. You have to believe that there is some of that. So even if it were in Bitcoin or, or, or some uh, bizarre situation like that. So it looks like Trump Organization is going to suffer and, and wish they'd done better. But, and I think some, some faction of it will probably survive. So that's pretty interesting to think that um, there's some faction of the, that you know that conglomeration of LLCs that may make it out of this uh, this RICO uh, nightmare. And uh, it's it started off with a big uh, offer of compassion for Trump Organization. I guess is what the Trump Organization is looking for. They're going to fight like this night of, of coin for everything they can. Um, they've been on a lucky uh, a, a lucky streak for a long long time. They're going to drag these issues up as far as they can, okay, on their back. I try not to spill them. And, but then the likely outcome is that, yeah, you're trapped right now. And if you're trapped, what have you been? You've been a distribution of wealth. You've been the facility for that. Uh, right now, you're looking at this five of clubs at what you've lost and what's maybe left. What's left? And then uh, the hopes and the fears were the seven of coins. Did I do enough? Is there something I can, I can uh, salvage from all this right here? And then, and then the final outcome, very surprising to me, is this ten of coins, familiar wealth. There might be something left for people to uh, scrape together. So now let's talk about uh, the executives. So this is going to be uh, Trump himself. This is going to be Weiselberg. This is going to be Calamari. This is going to be Makani. This is going to be Ivanka. This is going to be Don Jr. And this is going to be Eric. So we've got seven, seven um, entities to deal with here. Let's see how that. Goes. So I've scooped all these cards up. And now we're going to reintegrate them into the deck and tackle each one of those seven uh, people that I mentioned. So that's Trump himself, Weiselberg, um, Calamari, Makani, uh, Ivanka, Don Jr., and Eric. So will what will your fate be? I'm going to say, is this going to be a bad outcome for you? One at a time, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to divide this into seven stacks and, and reintegrate them, okay, and see what we get. I'm going to try to do a one-card draw for each of those, and if it turns into three-card draw for each of them, uh, then we'll, we'll go that far, but no more than that. So one-card draw, one-card draw for Donald Trump. And I do it in reverse, but I'm not smart enough. So one card draw for Donald Trump. Will you survive this? Take that any way you want. Donald Trump, will you survive this? Let's see what we get. The answer to that, look at that. The Hierophant, the Hierophant, the government will uh, uh, prevail over Donald Trump. The government will prevail over Donald Trump. You know, I've got to write this stuff down because I forget uh, by the end of this what I want to do a recap, what the heck I've said. So the government, I've got to find a pen. I'm so uh, not uh, prepared. So the Hierophant. I'm writing down the Hierophant over here for DT. All right, so there we go. Hierophant for Donald Trump. I'm going to put him back inside. And I'm going to go right now for Weiselberg. 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 Weiselberg, will you survive this? Weiselberg, will you survive this? Let's see what we get. For Weiselberg, will you survive this? One card, possibly three. Weiselberg, okay, Dominion. So this is the two of wands, and this is short-term plans. And so, so it, it, will Weiselberg uh, survive this? So it looks like uh, perhaps some short-term plans may be uh, the saving grace for him, but let's draw perhaps uh, one to three more cards. No more than three. I might stop at any time. Weiselberg, will you survive this? And this is wealth. So this is familial wealth. That's the Ten of Coins. Weiselberg, will you survive this? Familial wealth. Sounds like you will, but let's see what else we get. The second card of this is the King 
of Wands. And so the, or I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, wands are actions, plans, fire, moving forward. And it looks like Weiselberg is going to really put up a fight uh, for this wealth. And then the last card for that, for Weiselberg, will you survive again the Hierophant? Again the Hierophant. You're going to put up a fight, but it looks like the government is going to win in that one. Man, that's very, very interesting. So, okay, so we got uh, uh, Hierophant, and then we've got for Ally. I'm writing down on the side here the Hierophant. Okay, now let's go back into this. And the next, is this right? And the next one is going to be, um, who's the next? Makani. Makani is the next person uh, we're going to go. He was the controller of the whole situation. Makani. Makani, will you survive this? One card. For Makani. I'm going to go right down the list and see how this works out. Makani is strife. So the five of wands is embattlement, um, disunion, and just like this card says strife. I suspect myself, nobody else has said this on the news or, or anywhere, although he has testified before the grand jury that uh, he's going to go through some stuff and so he's going to have some strife. So I'm going to say that Makani is probably going to come out um, somewhat okay for that. So that was the five of wands. I'm writing it down to the side here. Makani looks like he's gonna make it out somehow. The next one is gonna be Calamari. I love Calamari. I'm so upset that he had to uh, taint the Calamari name with all of this. Uh, I will never ever be able to order the Calamari in the restaurant again without uh, this uh, being in my background in my mind. So Calamari, are you going to survive this? Calamari. One card, maybe three. Let's see what happens here. Calamari, Ah, Prudence. Prudence. Remember, he was Senior Vice President and uh, Chief Executive Officer, uh, Chief Operations Officer, I think it was, COO. And, um, and really, he's a bodyguard. So this shows really uh, honing your craft and making this uh, work and getting this right. I think this is telling me that, um, that he's going to figure it out. He's going to figure it out and somehow squeak out of this. So that's for Calamari. Let me write it down when I'm thinking about it. Put Cal over here, and that was uh, the uh, uh, Eight of Coins. Okay, and then so now we got Calamari. Now let's work on the kids. Ivanka, 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 are you gonna survive this, Ivanka? Because I think she's the one of the kids who's gonna put first, um, in my opinion. You know, and who am I? Nobody. But let's pull a card for Ivanka. Will you survive this, Ivanka? One card, no more than three. Uh, the Princess of Swords. She is the spy in the camp. Th this could not look more like Ivanka if I had planned the card and pulled it out uh, specifically. Yeah, she's going to come through this somehow, Ivanka. So let's put here on my little list that I'm accumulating off to the side here, Ivanka, and that was the Queen of Swords. And then the, uh, the next one is going to be Don Jr. Don Jr. Are you going to make it out? Don Jr. Are you going to survive this, Don Jr.? Don Jr., what's going on for you, buddy? Don Jr. Okay. For him, ah, the magician. The magician. This looks like him, not uh, it, just because he likes to make a spectacle of himself up in front of the stage. So Don Jr. is going to pull every trick he can think of, and he's not that smart, I don't think. But yeah, he's going to try to to come out of this. I think he's going to find a way to wiggle out of this somehow. Don Jr. So let me write that down. DJ, the magician. Now we get to the last one. Poor little Eric. Poor little guy. You know, he's the last one on the totem pole. And uh, he seems to be like the, for me, the accountant kind of guy. Um, not the deal-making guy so much as the fellow who's back counting the beans. I could, I don't know, but uh, that's what I get. So, uh, Eric, are you going to make it out of this? Eric, are you going to make it out of this situation? And for his, we have great strength. So, great strength. So, this is the nine of wands. It's embattlement. It's weary, it's, it's really having been beaten up, but trying to go on to win another day. So it looks like Eric will also somehow 
uh, squeak through. So that's what we got. So I wish I'd saved those cards so I could show them to you again. But um, we had uh, uh, the, the Hierophant uh, for Donald Trump. Uh, so that tells me that the government's going to win. Then we had, um, for Ellen uh, Weiselberg, also the Hierophant in the end after an extended draw. Then uh, for um, uh, Makani, we got the Five of Wands embattlement, you know, disharmony. Uh, but uh, it, I think maybe he'll get through. Then we had uh, Calamari the Appetizer. He had the uh, uh, eight, of, eight of Coins, uh, really trying to see if... Um, uh, it tells us that, uh, have I done enough? And maybe separating one from the rest. So it looks like he might make it through. Then we've got uh, Ivanka with the uh, Queen of Swords. Perfect for her. I mean, she is, you know, probably the, the big spy in the camp. we got uh, Donald Jr., the Magician, and poor Eric. Shoot, I've already forgotten the card he had. But yeah, this is not going to be good uh, for anybody. They're all going to go, like Donald likes to say, through some stuff. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. Thank <laughs> you.